Welcome everybody. Welcome to the Nationwide Prayer Campaign to End Abortion Forever. This is our goal. It's going to happen. We're united. So um, today we have a special speaker. He's an exorcist. He's the spiritual director of Mother Teresa. He was. And also he was a spiritual son of Padre Pio. And he did um, spiritual retreats for the missionaries of charity. His name is Monsignor SF, Monsignor John F. SF. And there's a reason why I asked him to speak today. So let's get on with our prayers and we'll talk in a little bit. God bless you all. St. Joseph, intercede for us. We love you. Hi, everybody. Thank you again for joining to pray. We are um, getting there. Um, you know, we don't see it yet, but uh, God is true to his promises. We are going to end abortion. Okay, so here's the thing. Today, I was concerned because every day, you know, there's a lot of false news, and there's also false news in the Catholic world, too, the false Catholic media. And um, they've been proven to misquote the Pope, and um, it's stirring a lot of uh, separation. And it's really, it's really sad. And what they're doing is mm -hmm. having this big infighting within our own church. And this is, I think, one, one of the reasons why Jesus flipped over tables before the temple. You don't mess with the temple of people's hearts. That's their souls and God dwells with them. And if they open themselves to being stained and it's somebody's fault, someone's influence, you know, they'll be, they'll, they'll have to answer for it. And so will we, if we influence other people, we have to be very careful. Last time I checked on the Vatican website, it said that Pope Francis was a pro Pope and uh, it says it in the magisterium of the church, which is the teaching arm of the church. And I wonder who gives them authority. It's the Holy Spirit, <laughs> the Holy Spirit that guides the church. Jesus said it himself. And there is a pro-life message when he says to even all the way to us, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I am in him bears much fruit for without me, you could do nothing. You could do nothing. So the church is the body of Christ. The head, head, the t the top is the Pope. Okay. So um, I was concerned because so many people are so confused and they have opinions and I'm afraid they might slander him even further. So I went to somebody that I knew that I trusted and uh, that's Monsignor Essef. He's so grounded. He's the reason why he's so grounded is he knows love. And uh, a lot of people, they think they know love, but unfortunately, they sow discord in the name of the, the church teachings. They teach church teachings, but yet the essence of love is not there. So I have, um, I have him here, and I will uh, play him for you in just a moment. Okay. Are you hearing are you what I'm saying? I'm hearing. And to your friends. Okay. God has given us a papacy. And our Holy Father has been assured that he will teach the message of Jesus. Now, he has the, the in our time, and as in, in, in past times, God has always protected the church, and he will in our day. Our faith is not in, 
our faith is in Jesus. So when you read the words of Jesus, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. We do have in the Catholic Church one authority that we go to and we center around our Holy Father. So that's something that we have always had. The apostles gathered around him. Peter is not uh, without sin. He can sin. And what does our Holy Father say more and more and over and over? I'm a sinner. Pray for me. Pray for me. He's constantly, uh, he, uh, one of our uh, bishops that was just with him told him three times in the interview, pray for me. And one of the things that I have done in these past days is to increase my prayer for the Holy Father. He is the Holy Father, and he is the one to whom God has given the assurance to be able to teach the Word of God infallibly, not impeccably, but infallibly, that he will guide us and lead us. And I, to be very careful as you, as we hear these reports that what he, they say he said that he really said. And to be very careful over and over again to sift out because I think what the media tends to do is to split and take sides. And I don't just see it's the media that's doing that. I see is the devil. Another name for Satan is demonic. And demonic means to divide. That's the great work of Satan. God unites. God gathers. The devil divides. And what I see is happening to many people in the church is they are being further and further divided by what they think the Holy Father is saying and he's not saying at all. But the whole intent of the Pope is to gather and unite into Amen. one body, one church. Amen. One church, one baptism. One Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Unity. That's what God is doing. He's gathering us into one. Monsignor Essa? What, yes. what would you say, um, what is your opinion or what is the church's opinion on people who sever themselves from the allegiance of the Pope or who scandalize the Pope by writing things or saying things publicly? Um, let's just say Catholic media that are saying things against the Pope. What would you say about that, Monsignor? I believe that... We, we, used to, we used to see that, and we were thinking of that, as people outside the church who would attack them. But I think one of the things we're seeing in our day is people inside the church who are doing this. And that brings further and further division. That's what I say now. Is it excommunicating yourself? When you sever yourself I, from the Pope? The... I, I think he's held up in excommunicating. And I think that power to excommunicate is his. I don't think I want to say I would excommunicate someone who is doing that. But I would say, careful of what you're thinking and say, especially out loud. 
because it's going to bring unity or it's going to bring further division. Why can't we pray? Amen. Can I can I offer a prayer now? Yes. I, I think so much of this is is going against what God has asked us to do. God our Father, our Holy Father has asked for prayer. We are obligated. When Peter was in prison, when Peter was in great distress, the church was filled with prayer. The prayer rocked the place where they were. They began to turn to you and call upon you, God, who is the source of all unity, who is the source of all love. The church under these attacks, and we've been assured by the Lord Jesus that even the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That the church is now terribly poor, and we are so just like the poor widow. We, we are poor, and we are bereft of everything. We're stripped. Poor church is being battered by the by so many who are just tearing at her. And now we're praying to you and calling upon you to help us to go through this suffering. And the greatest plague is coming on all of us. And so we turn to you and we call upon you and we know that you will not leave us in the middle of this storm and this tremendous confusion. But send us the Holy Spirit who is the spirit that brings chaos into cosmos? Who is the spirit who brings unity and peace? We call upon you and we beg you. Send us the Holy Spirit, the spirit of love, the spirit of unity and the spirit of truth and the spirit of peace. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faith. Kindle in them fire of your love. Pour upon us the tremendous kerosene of the Holy Spirit. Heal us in the church and help us with your loving presence. Now, Mary, our mother, please hear and answer us. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Monsignor. God bless you. God bless you too. Can thank you, you for calling me. Oh, thank you, Monsignor. Can you give a blessing to John Leap's evangelization and all who are listening? God our Father, I hold up to you every person who is listening to Karen and myself. Everyone. And may they each experience within their lives calm and peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Queen Th of peace. Thank you, Monsignor. Thank you.
Thank you. God bless you. God bless Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye. He's uh, the sweetest priest, and um, he doesn't stop. He has retreats every single day, one-on-one -on -one with other priests, and he's just lifting up the church, and he's establishing a lot of people back into love, and that's what we need, and that's what Mother Teresa had. I mean, thank God for that. Um, and people like that who really know love, who know him as a person, um, they want to make sure that your soul is safe and not to follow the, the words of the world and uh, the wrong visuals that they're giving you. Um, don't, don't, you guard your soul against those. I mean, open your soul to God, but guard your soul against those people that, that will give you um, wrong teaching and they may look holy and say the holiest of words and they might say right things in some some areas like you know but the action is wrong the vision is wrong the vision is not of god god even in jesus even in his last prayer look it up in john it's all about unity so that you and i and they uh, they will know that that i am Oh, I forgot this quote anymore. As, you know, it's it's probably because I'm sick. But anyway, or it's just me. Um, just look it up. His last prayer was the prayer of unity. And that's what we need. Did you know that because of the ecumenical movement, and a lot of people thought it was demonic, it started with John Paul II, and then it flowed to Benedict, and then Francis. All three of them combined were filled with the Holy Spirit when they welcomed the ecumenical movement because it, it created friendship and dialogue and openness. And over a thousand pastors have converted into the Catholic faith because now they didn't have a wall. They had openness. They had a way in, a door in. And then in their curiosity, they were able to now look instead of be fi being filled with the Catholic Church is so evil and da 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 da, all the things that they've been taught as well. So they were able to really dive into the wealth that we have and that we share and we, we wanna be joined together as one and people who do this love your soul. God bless you and I love you all. God bless you. <laughs>